kebabs, baguettes, white or wholemeal or toasted 30p extra. This is no ciabatta. Sorry. Panini? Not that I'm aware of. Right. Um, well, give me two tuna and sweet corn on wholemeal, please. You know, you'd be amazed what you could do with a bit of imagination. Oh, they don't want imagination round here. Not big, thick butties. Cheap. There you go. Thank you. Don't keep your chopper waiting. Sorry? Oh, right. Humour. Oh. I expect you won't be far behind me. Well, I'll try not to disappoint you. Hi. Don't let that snotty cow get to you. You're in a good mood till she came in. Do you have to be so judgmental? If she lived in India, she'd be sacred. <laughs> Nothing personal, obviously. Yeah, well, if it is, it's none of your business, is it? Oh, listen, forget about it. Hey, I'm not worried about her. Especially now it's me sitting on a father-in-law's name, not her. You haven't? Oh, no, not at his age. You'd kill him. Sorry, no offence. I didn't mean it like that. No, we're way off that yet. He's still a bit cagey. Wait, can you blame him? No. But do you know something? I feel great. First time in ages. So there is no way she's going to spoil it just because her nose is out of joint with having another woman around. It's tough. Jamie, did anything? No. Just trying to get things in order before the weekend. Well, I want to knock off about half three. Are we going part time? Well, I could do with you sitting with this social worker for when she comes to see about Daz. What you mean is, it's not even going to happen without me there backing you up. I'm only asking if you'll do it. No, we've been through all this. Have you any idea what you're getting into? Especially at your age, trying to become a parent to a young lad. What? You're going to tell me how it's done, are you? Yeah, all right, point taken. No, but don't push it, Andy. You're the one who needs a favour doing. If you'd have kept your eye on what was going on between her and your dad, maybe it wouldn't have got this far. If I missed something? Only your father and that tart all over one another. Give over, will you? Oh, she thinks I don't know what she's up to. Well, she's in for a shock, that one. And he's old enough to know what's going on by now. Small office like that, they're bound to get tangled up together. So she does a bit of flirting with the boss. Don't tell me there's a bit of the old paranoia creeping out from under the immaculate veneer. Oh, so her having her tongue halfway down his throat, what's that? Is she looking for a chewing gum? You're talking rubbish. Why, why would I make it up? I saw them. I was there. You know, I'm away for just over a month and there's a gold-digging scrubber shacked up with my father-in-law. Well done, lads. Everything's under control. Unlike you, I don't have to put up with this tripe. Oh. Touched a nerve, have we? You know, it's worrying me. You've not mentioned anything about yesterday. OK, and uh, which aspect of yesterday would we be talking about? You know, I've often suspected that my contacts with the opposite sex were instantly forgettable. Hmm. For them, not for me. Sad, but there it is. When you say them, how many have you got going? Oh, if only you had the energy, love. Well, I'll just have to find out, won't I? You made it in, then. Good job you reminded me, though, eh? Well, um, don't let me interrupt. Well, it's not an interruption, love. It's always a joy seeing you. <laughs> He says that to all the girls, don't you? <laughs> Not anymore. No! Oh, no! No, you... Was it not dead already? I left it in too long and it fell to pieces. Whose stupid idea was this fifth festival anyway? It's not worth giving yourself brain damage for. Oh! You're not having too good a deal, love. I'll make you a brew. It's just never going to happen. Hey, I may not be Rex Stein, but I can pour hot water on a tea bag. Hmm? Well, no, not the, not the fish thing! I could persuade a stabbing cat to look at some of the rubbish I've put out so far. I'm going home! I'll just tidy all this up myself then, shall I? Right, you. You devious little git. What do you think you're playing at spraying my car? I don't know what you're talking about. Get off me! And who's this scum you're talking about then, eh? Me? But you're ripping my top. Because I hope you don't mean Katie. And I'll rip your head off in a minute if you're not careful. Look, I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, why should I bother about anybody calling you? 
after what you've done to Aranda? Both of you. Well, I am warning you. And don't think I won't do it, Daz, because I really don't care anymore. If I catch you with a spray can in your hand, or even thinking about it, then I'll break both your arms and legs, and I'll leave you in a ditch. Are you mental? Not yet, but I'm getting there. It won't be a minute. I'll just tell a social worker. And who's she gonna believe? You or me? Now, are we clear on this? I just want to make sure, yeah? Just me now. All right. Just leave me alone. Oh, sorry, I've been a bit busy. And... It's all right. It's just making sure he pays. Well, apart from lying down in front of the bulldozers, uh, I reckon we've had it. But if you did lie down in front of them, knowing this lot, who's to say they wouldn't run straight over you? So, we're just going to stop fighting. Nobody said that. Communities sum up folk like them kings don't think about stuff. Oh, the young ones in general, they're all the same. But Tom King is far from young. Uh, us young uns aren't just selfish and heartless, you know. Just bring the... And if you're all for community, what's wrong with having a bigger one? People need houses, don't they? Who are we to tell them that they can't have somewhere nice? We, madam, a folk who've been around a damn sight longer than you have. All right, so you might have done more, you might know more, I'll give you that. Don't mean you're right. Well, we understand what you're saying, love. You can understand a few new faces in here keep putting up with us, but, but you know how you young folk don't like being told what to do before folk who think they're in charge? Well, well we're the same. It don't change. No. And you know, if any of us thought it was to go towards cheap housing for youngsters like yourself and farm workers and such, then it'd be a different story. Yuppies from Leeds. Just you watch. Yeah, well, when they come in wanting the double whipped cream lattes, we'll be ready for them. Sorry. The foster carers knew that Darren was only going to be staying short term. They're really pleased. We all are. It's so nice for him to get the chance to settle with his own family again. Yeah, it's just great for me having a brother around. Two, two brothers. Just how I like it, eh, Daz? It's turned out well for all of us. We, uh, well, everybody will be doing what they can to make sure it works out. I think that goes without saying. I will be, honest. I would hope that definitely goes without saying. Right, well, I'm sure the Sugden family's got plenty to talk about without me being in the way. <coughs> you can bank on that. Thanks for coming. Um, I'll have to shift my car. I'm blocking you in. You behave yourself, young man. I'm doing my car as well. Can't believe I'm stopping! Go on, stop it! I need to believe it. I'm stopping, yes! Go on, stop it! <laughs> you all over the place, man. And I've been living here all this time. Well, I thought you'd be in the pub sharpening your act. It's beyond sharpening. Listen, uh, that's what I wanted to see you about. This fish do at the pub. I think we should scrub it. Since when? Well, you're not really up to it, are you? And I mean, what's the point in risking a disaster? If we're not skating, we're floundering. Fish joke. Yeah, you're probably right. You, you don't mind just giving it all up, scrubbing the whole job? I know it's going to be a waste of time, no. Well, are you not worried that would be letting people down? Nothing like that? Well, it's better than poisoning them, isn't it? How about you get yourself another chef? What? <laughs> I don't know if you've seen the film, mate, but there can be only one. Let's get finding one, then, aren't you? Why didn't you tell me it threatened you? What? And had that social worker go spare and drag me off again. Get lost. Did you spray his car? No, I didn't. I've already told you. Best find out what's going on then, aren't we? Soon see how hard it is. What's this about you threatening him? But you either back off now or this goes through your windscreen. If you've got a problem with him, you come and see me. I don't even know what you're talking about. 
And if you think that I'm impressed, you're gonna have to try a lot harder than that. I'll do that next time. See how cocky you are when you're talking on the back of an ambulance. Are you gonna discuss these big plans with my dad then, are you? Just what the hell's going on? I see you herring down the street and then we were just talking. Talking about what? Just stuff that needs to be sorted out. What have you got to say? So you're just having a friendly chat, are you? Right. You two get back to the farm. You get back to work if that's what you were doing. I've not finished with this, but I certainly don't want to discuss it in the street. We'll talk later. Now clear off. I don't know what you're getting so wound up about. If this family's money ever goes to charity, it's not going to be that one. Dad is not going to get conned at his age. I don't reckon age comes into it. Maybe we should set our call on her. It won't last two minutes. Jackie Ben. And how's your little project coming along? You're the councillor, mate. Don't tell us there's something going on you don't know about. Everything's <laughs> nice and tidy, Eric. Can't wait to get going. Ah, no worries over deeds, nothing like that? Your colleague, Mr. Ledbetter, did the necessary there for us, thanks. All sorted. Yes, well, a good man, Ledbetter, very thorough. Still, if ever you need any assistance... We'll let you know, thanks. Jimmy. Good evening. It's OK, Christine. You're having a drink with me, so stop moaning. You're not even paying for it. Whoa! Uh, no, my wrong! I have to pee. Well, listen, if you're not back out in two minutes, we're going to come after you. So you reckon he's not going to do it? Well, he's stricken by a crisis of confidence. Three pints of lager, please, Val Love, when you're ready. Over a couple of fish. Hey, never underestimate the power of fish. I put crushed prawns in my ex-boyfriend's turnips once. Do you mind? I'm trying to have a serious conversation here. Oh, don't tell me I've missed out on one of you two getting around in. We were only having the one. I just want to check the access on the cricket pitch for when the heavy plant comes in. So you have missed out again. Oh. See you later on. All right, see you. At least you had a go. No, I'm not giving up yet. No chance. All will be revealed. I'm glad you had a plan. I must have just keep hitting him till he did what he was told. <laughs> <laughs> well, I might still come to that, but I think underneath that miserable, couldn't give a toss exterior lurks a, a powder keg of unrealised ambition waiting to explode. Do you think? Right. Come on, now. What is it you want to know? OK. How about... Why has she got a down on me already? And I've done absolutely nothing? Not to her, anyway. Oh, don't worry about it, love. Two good-looking girls in one room, bound to be a bit of a free son to start off with. Blokes would be the same. Young ones, anyway. Mm, well, she seems very protective. Of me, you mean? Mm. Oh, she's just looking out for her... Poor old father-in-law in his golden years. Yeah, of course. Look, she's just sparring with you, because you're not what she expected. You'll get on like ice on fire once you get used to each other. Right, what are we having? I'll have a white wine. Tom, have you always liked her, or did you two have to get used to one another as well? No, we hit it straight off. She's like one of me own, that girl, and she's been the best thing that's ever happened to our Jimmy. I do know that. I won't hear a word said against her. So indulge me, eh? Can I come in? You're in, aren't you? It was nothing before, honest. Not worth getting worked up about anyway. Not by your standards lately, I'm sure. I can't undo what's happened. No, and I can't ignore it. Alan Turner's given us till the end of the week to find somewhere else. Says it's the principal. Shows he's got some, eh? Hey? I'm not complaining, I'm just telling you. Well, you're gonna have to sort yourselves out because I'm not having you in here. Well, I should never mentioned it now. Can I buy you a pint or something? I don't think so, son. Not today. Well, at least I'm still your son. I can't deny that, can I? As much as you wish you could. You said that, not me. I've got to go and see what Victoria wants to see. Dad. I 
never thought you could ever surprise me again, but I will hold my hand up. You have managed it. If you are looking for the barking, you are leaning on it. I'd be careful if I were you, Grandad, because you've seen him off a lot younger than you. Just go away and grow up, will you please? No problem. Just so long as you know I intend minding my own business because I couldn't give a toss. Cheers. You might enjoy being crude and obnoxious, son. And I'm sure there are those that are very impressed. But I suspect you know better than to start messing with me. I wasn't talking to you. Or anybody that happens to be in my company. Can I get you one? I wouldn't want to get in around. OK. Listen, Tom, do you want to go somewhere else, eh? What, me? I've never felt more comfortable in my life. Or am I misreading a perfectly scandalous proposition? <laughs> You're right. Where did these come from? I cleared out the cupboard for my game stuff. Fancy putting a video on? Great. I taped text pen from last week. Hold your up then. My family have come in to keep an eye on me. I think it's more me than you. No, no, they think I've arrived at some kind of dotage. But I'm not a fool, Charity. I don't care what they think. If I want to do something, I'll do it. Try reeling your tongue in, eh? It's undignified. Well, look at how look it. In my game, Daniel, the connoisseur learns to disguise his interest. It's a skill you may one day acquire. All right, lads. Never better, thanks. Just because it's expensive, it doesn't mean it's in all the right places. I'd it. Yeah, well, you're doing a good job of that lately, aren't you? What can I get you, love? Here. Let me get these. We should come in here more often. <laughs> Send her. The rest of them can stay at home. It's very kind of you, Mr. Blackstock. Thank you. Oh, Rodney. Uh, please. I can't see what you like getting worked up about. Yeah? Well, you wouldn't, would you? Hey, hello. How are we all doing? Shall I take my stuff straight through? Yeah, you just go and get yourself organised, love. Uh, then come and have a drink with us. Where the hell's he going? Eleventh hour rescue, mate. The fish cavalry's arrived. Good luck to him. I hope we're not disturbing you again. Oh, come on, Jimmy. Pull up another chair. Mm. I'll just stay over here, shall I? Oh, it'll not be looking like that for much longer. As much as I hate to ever have to agree with you, Edna, I think you might be right. So much for muddied oafs and flannel fools from now on, eh? I've seen plenty of them in my time. Well, I'll not just sit back and watch them dig it up. I mean, there must be some it. Now, don't you go getting any Len Reynolds ideas, lying down in front of a bulldozer. Getting carted off in a police van. No, them days are long gone for me, I'm sorry to say. I think young Donna might be right in a way. Things have to move on. But why does it never seem to be for the better? Right. I'm going to my shed, where I'm going to think with a third of a pint of home brew. And you're welcome to join me. <laughs> no, I've got to get to the church. And we can both look for inspiration in its own way. Although, you could see how we're fixed for a miracle. I can all that. <laughs> See you tomorrow. I must be drinking faster than everybody else. Well, there's no change there, then. Oof. 
Matt, give us a lift at the bar, will you? I should probably uh, finish this and get going. Oh, at least one of my workforce has got some sense. Oh, I'm just aware of you being with your family. Yeah, so am I. I think my boys are frightened they might miss something. Oh, somebody's got to keep a check on you. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> well, you're getting your feet right under the table, aren't you? My boss was nice enough to offer me a drink. Can't really say no, can I? Well, you weren't saying no this morning either, were you? Upset you have her. God, I hope so. It's not me I'm worried about. It's Tom. Oh, pity that, because you know what? I'm thinking of murdering him in his bath, burying the body in the cell, you know, as you do. Grow up. <gasps> or are you just jealous? Oh, don't get smart with me. I know your game inside out. Yeah? Played itself, have you? There's no way you're getting your grubby little hands on this family's money, and if you think you are... What? You'll push me down the stairs again? <gasps> well, you must admit, it's a good look for you. Yeah, well, the trouble with me, love, is I just keep coming bouncing back. Now, I wonder if you would, you know, if a similar unfortunate accident were to happen the other way around. Oh, that's something you might just have to find out. Yeah, and I'm looking forward to it. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I could do with getting back, actually. I've got stuff to do at home. Oh, oh, what about your drink? Well, Sadie can finish it, can't you? No, no, look, if you hang on, I have to leave in a few minutes as well. What, you mean you don't want to talk about football and engines all night? No, look, if you're going home, I could run you over. No trouble. Well, I'll walk. But thanks anyway, yeah? OK. Oh. 